Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of New Vegas. All right. When we left off, we were here killing the fiends dead, and uh, I finished off that one last guy over here. I think it was actually a girl, now that I think about it. Anyway, them. Th I finished them off. Anywho, uh, there's also this building here. Uh, Zap's neon signs that I have a feeling probably houses a couple more fiends. And since they are part of the same group that pulled the shit that happened in Vault 3, I feel I should exterminate them as well. Overkill? Maybe. Do I care? No. Not at all. Not even a little bit. So, here we go. Gonna try and be a little sneaky about it. Here's hoping I can do that. There we are. Ooh, there's a couple books here. Uh, Scorched Books and La Fantoma. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm never quite sure, really. Mainly because I never heard it out loud. Okay, grab all of this. It's all the good shit. Let us continue being the sneaky. And that is a trap. That is a trappily trap trap. I ain't gonna fall for that. I may have been born at night, but it wasn't last night. Okay. Yeah, you do. For multiple reasons. One of them being, I'm gonna kill you if you try. But, you in particular are gonna be dead before I get to that. Wow, I am really full of crap in my pockets. Holy shit. Um, how can I get rid of this? Uh, does Eddie have too much? Yeah, he has too much. I can't offload anything into his pockets. Okay. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Um, no. Unfortunately not. It is heavy. It is heavy things. But there are heavy things that you will appreciate. Maybe. I wouldn't know. Okay. Um. Oh. I could have just repaired all these up. Should have done that. Should have done that. Okay. Um. Other stuff. Really isn't that heavy. To be perfectly honest. A lot of the other stuff I have isn't all that heavy. Huh. That's fair. Alright. Uh, let me just repair some of these together. Uh, Vault 11 jumpsuit. When did I pick that up? Not sure when I picked that up. Okay, anyway. There's that. And repair those two together. That'll work. That'll work for now. At least for semi-consolidating the weight that I'm carrying. Alright, um... Uh, these weigh a fuck ton. More than I really want them to. Um, <laughs> I don't want to repair those to full. Man. Ah, uh, none of my other stuff needs repairs. Well, here's hoping that, uh, I need a repair at some point. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, apparently there's a lot of conversations going. There's this here. That would have been a big problem if whatever the trap was blew that up. That would have hurt a lot. Uh, that's what the fucking trap was for. Grenade bouquet. Reclaimed. Also... I notice a lot of frag mines down there. When I find you, I'm gonna eat your spleen. Oh my. You're gonna eat my spleen, you say? How do you know I'm here, though? Oh, oh boy. Gotcha! How did no one else notice that? Hey! Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're gonna... 
blow those up. Okay, well, that wasn't good. Uh, how's Veronica? Not good. Really not good. Hopefully she uses those stim packs I gave her. Alright. Oh, body shot would kill you too. Well, that's surprising. Um, let's cycle back to this target. Oh boy, his head would be completely obscured by Veronica. I'll just let Veronica deal with him. So anyone else? Yes, there's this guy who is absolutely not targetable in any meaningful way, except for the leg. Here's hoping that does it. Well, you're dead. You're dead. And, wow, you're dead. I'm surprised that worked. And your arm is gone. Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck do you have? Oh, you have a service rifle. And your name is Duke. Who the fuck are you? Don't really care, honestly. I'm gonna kill you anyway. Uh. Isn't that the last of them? I just wanted that'd be the last of them. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Oh, shit. Why did they not set off their own mines? That's not fair. Come on. Oh, oh. I saw my... I saw not a mine. It was a grenade. Uh, whizzed right past my head. I'm gonna jump now. Oh! Jesus! Okay. And you have a machine gun. No wonder you weren't doing that much damage. Well, you're gone now. Jeez. Are you okay? Is your health okay? You're at 390 now, okay. You okay? You're probably okay. You're at 648. Wow. You have a lot more health than she does. Okay. Um. That went very exploding very quickly. Not what I expected. But, uh, still, they're all dead, which is a relatively good outcome, considering. Varmint rifle, yeah. Alright, um, pair some of these with the stuff that's a little too weighted, shall we? Alright. And then this one here. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I can use them for actual proper repairs. Speaking of which, nothing needs repaired after all of that. Wow. Okay, well, um, that was something. Alright, well, what do you have? You have a cowboy repeater. That's something. Huh. Alright, um... I guess I could use that to repair the medicine stick, should I need it? Wow, even after all that shooting, I didn't need to repair this once. How about that? How about that? Alright, um, this guy was down here. There we are. Got his empty syringe there. I forgot I picked up some sensor modules. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, let's make some stim packs, because that would help me later in life. For sure. Let's make some of those. Uh, make some of these. Uh, make some of that. And yeah, I can't do much else. Okay, well. Hmm. Make those max charge. Oh, I can make super stim packs. Huh. Make some of those, might as well. Get the weight out of my pockets. Oh, that's what's making the noise. That was weird. I was sitting there going, what the fuck is that? Sounds like someone breathing. Because it was. Alright. You're deaded. You're very deaded. Yeah, you lost your head. Okay, um, I'll take that. You 
at the service rifle. I can use that to repair my gun should I need it. Um, you got some good stuff, too. Relatively good stuff. Hmm. Alright. I still don't need to repair it. At all. I was I was making sure that I wasn't it wasn't just a fluke and I just didn't have any items to repair it. Now that I know I have items to repair it. Ooh. I know I can repair that now. With a nine iron. Man, that's a lot of value. Alright. Got nine millimeter rounds in there. Grenade box. Alright. Ammo box. Alright. Um, ports and boxing times. Lad's life. Okay. Not entirely sure I could use all of that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can't. But I'll take it anyway. What do we got here? Oh, it's a locked terminal. All right. You can get into this anyway. Spotted. Nope. Will then. <laughs> Let's try for the E. Hey! That matched. Alright. I'm cool. Shipping invoice accident report log. Broken glass. Kevin dropped one of the glass tubes today while forming it. He ended up with a nasty cut on his hand from the broken glass, of course. Fortunately, no one else was hurt. I bandaged his hand and had him clean it up before sending him home. One more accident like that and I may have to let him go. Kid's too accident prone. Okay. Incident elevator. One of the elevators to the upper loading dock broke down again. Unfortunately, Jonathan was inside waiting to unload, and the sudden stop caused one of the signs to slip off slip of its pallet. Okay, and it broke his leg. He'll be out for at least a month while it heals. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's look at some of the shipping invoices. Everts Building and Garden Supplies. Scott Evert, okay. Quantity, three. Frame dimensions, ah, it doesn't matter. Single-sided sign, red and white colors, sans serif typeface. Okay. Top line reads Everts on a red background, large typeface. Lines two and three read Building and Garden on a white background, medium typeface. All caps. Line four reads Supplies on a red background, small typeface, all caps. Eh, that's a look. Yeah, sure. Why not? Kingman's Barbecue. Contact Felix Weaver. Quantity 4. Alright. Description. Double-sided sign. Black, brown, and white color. Sans serif typeface. Top line reads Kingman's on a black background. Small typeface. All caps. Vertically reads below. Barbecue on brown background. Large typeface. All caps. White arrow border. Alright. Well... Descriptive of the signs. Alright, well, that was, uh, that was kind of lackluster, to be perfectly honest, other than the accident report, which is, you know, you all know one of them. You all know one of those shits that is just not good at the job. Oh, I already was in here. Okay, cool. And let's trigger that. Yep, there we go. I knew it was going to happen. Just wanted to trigger it before I left. Just so anyone who comes after won't be surprised. Alright. Although, to be fair, who would want to come here after all the devastation I caused? Right? I mean, come on. Come on. Who'd want to do that? No one, that's who. Alright. Where am I going? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just following the arrow with no real actual What's the word I'm looking for? Uh direction. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. How my brain forget that? Alright, I'm gonna actually check on Red Rock Canyon, or rather the Red Rock Drug Lab, to see if that quest is absolutely unusable now. Because I remember at some point, like, if we got to that point, that we could actually find a workaround. 
At least for them. I thought there was. Okay. Damn it, someone offed Motor Runner. That guy was one of our biggest clients. Yeah, that was me. Um. Ah, shit. So it doesn't actually do that. Shit. Alright. Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. Hmm. We'll keep it small for now, but if it turns a profit, we might expand. Okay, so nothing, nothing else. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I remember... Um... Oh, Anders! Rumor from the strip is that House is dead. I hope the old bastard choked on his own tongue. Yeah. Well, I mean... It was less that. More exploding body parts. But yeah, anyway. Um, we're gonna move on. Since that's no longer a thing that I can do now. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. I remember... Like, I had taken out Motor Runner before I even did any of this. The vague memory that I have of this. I took out Motor Runner before. And then I came here, and then I could still continue the quest. I could swear I remember that. And then I could find them, like, another big client for them to go after. I don't uh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering shit. I was probably drunk at the time. <laughs> so I'm probably remembering it all wrong. Jesus. Still? Okay, well. Thank you guys for handling that. Damn, that was fast. Alright. Did you have anything? No. Okay. Well, there's that anyway. Isn't that... I think that's it. It's gotta be it. Has a tree trunk on it. I think this is it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Oh, man. I don't trust my eyes half the time. Yep, this is it. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. Okay, now that we've done all the good stuff, we've found all the parts that are necessary, maybe, maybe we can continue this quest line, since we can't continue the Great Cons Hello, anymore. Outsider. Hello. Nope, this is absolutely not the right way. Oopsie doodle. Um, this way. Yeah, this way. Here we go. That's the door I wanted. L2. Alright. And we should... Oh, we'll let them pass. Alright. Seems the NCR is making friends. We've had reports of them making overtures to some gang in Freeside. Really? Hmm. How about that? Hi there. What? 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 Oh. I guess we're not supposed to talk to him. We're supposed to talk to someone else? Yes, goddammit, it is. Oh. You're gonna hear me out this time. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm missing something. I'm missing a... I'm missing on something good. I'm gonna save scum just to catch this. Just specifically to catch Hello, that. Outsider. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. <laughs> the things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. Yeah, it is. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. 
All right. Are you okay? What's up? So, um... Okay. It's not letting me figure out what happened there, so, um... Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? E no. What? Please make all haste in your search. Was there something I missed? Is there a thing I forgot? Return to Senior Knight Lorenzo with the components. Oh. Uh, that's what it was. That's my fault. Okay. I'm dumb. That's what that taught me. I'm stupid. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Oh, yeah? Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. Okay. <sighs> he means well. So, what now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. Well, yeah. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. So, what is it you're trying to accomplish here? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? Mm -hmm. To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. Mm -hmm. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. True. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society. Attract new members. Yeah. Much like the uh much like the brotherhood in the capital wasteland under lions that did keep them afloat for quite a while more um how do you propose to do that look at the followers of the apocalypse they use their expertise to improve people's lives they train them to be self-sufficient mm -hmm. that expertise cultivates respect and gratitude spreads their ideals draws talent to their cause they make friends like we make enemies but True. they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. Do you think the Elder will listen? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. Okay. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. Okay. That's, that's fair, and you're giving him a lot of credit, so that means you must actually believe in that. So, what could you... Or what could we bring him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. Mm -hmm. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. True. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Let's head out. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. I All guess right. the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. Seems the NCR is making friends. We've had reports of them making overtures to some gang in Freestyle. So they're just talking over each other. What is this? Huh? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? Um... The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Um... Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. What? What? Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. So what was... Um... What? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that guy talking about? I have no idea what to think with that. How may I assist you? Oh, okay. This was the path I was supposed to take. Okay. Um, well, we'll find Lorenzo here. But, um, that's a new one. I've, uh, never seen that. In fact, I don't even think I finished this quest line this way. Um, 
So they're feeling threatened by me and the fact that Veronica is having me help her. So apparently there's some people that will not accept the new direction Veronica wants the uh, Brotherhood to go into. So maybe it'll be another sort of outcast situation, much like the Capital Wasteland, um, where they just break off from the main group because they're no longer following what the uh, Brotherhood ideal is supposed to be. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Well, let's just find Lorenzo. There we are. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Yeah, Have I bet. you found all of the components yet? Yeah, it's all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get really? right to work installing these. Are you sure? Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Good. And that'll make sure that we can talk to him about that, okay? And it should be fine now. All right. All right. Now I'm going to end the episode. Uh, save the start of a new quest line for that. Yeah. And we're going to slowly figure out what's actually going to happen with the Brotherhood. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and exterminating the rest of the fiends and the little neon sign stuff and zaps neon signs that's where it was and helping out the brotherhood finally giving them the parts they need just to find out that they are not liking what me and veronica are accomplishing for you